The Central Bank of Nigeria Monetary Policy Committee has retained the monetary policy rate at 12.5%. This was announced by the governor of CBN, Godwin Emefile, at the end of the MPC's meeting on Monday. There were two members of the MPR pushing for the rate to be reduced, but eight members of the committee formed the majority that voted for the retention of the rate to be kept at 12.5%. The cash reserve ratio, CRR, was also retained at 27.5%, with liquidity ratio at 30%, and the asymmetric corridor was kept at plus 200, minus 500 basis points. We're now joined by Mokhtar Mohammed, a financial analyst. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Do we have Mr. Mokhtar? It's a pleasure. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what, is yeah, good your, afternoon. what is your take on the retention of the interest rate? We, we, I didn't expect anything new from the CBN. I expected the rate to remain. Um, there are more issues that we expect the CBN to address, especially the shortage of um, um, the, the dollars in the economy. And that is what everybody's expecting, not the monetary policy rate, which we believe will, will remain the same. We expect CBN to begin to tell us about how they are going to tackle the current shortage of um, um, dollars in the, in, in the economy, especially knowing that Nigerians depend mostly on the importation of all these goods and we use the dollar to do that. I think that's the main thing everybody's expecting from the CBN. I'm not surprised living rate that they had to, they, they, were, they were torn between the devil and the deep blue sea. Ordinarily, with the kind of inflation that we, we have, in, we are supposed to be tightening, uh, um, tightening rates, but uh, we, but because of the challenge of the shortage in dollars, the price on price in petroleum products, also the, the, the increase in petroleum product and, and, and the shortage in liquidity, especially in the dollar, they, they had to leave it at where it is now. Okay, you just mentioned the fact that uh, they should uh, reduce the rates even to a much desired single digit. What do you think is stopping them from taking that action? Inflation. Inflation. Is going high, and uh, when, you, when you reduce it, then you are beginning to cause more inflation into the system because there will be a lot of uh, borrowing, especially by, uh, by a businessmen. So that will be too much uh, currency in circulation. So definitely, it's not the right time for them to bring down rate. It's time for them to just maintain the rate. Ordinary, like I said, um, it's even time to tighten, not even time to relax the rate. But unfortunately, they can't tighten the rate now because of the um, hardship it will bring to Nigeria especially now that Nigeria is even going through those hardships in terms of the exchange rate regime that has been very volatile. Mr. Mohammed, what is your assessment of the cash reserve ratio at 27.5 and the liquidity ratio at 30%? I'm not surprised. It just has to be there. Um, there's nothing that would have, we will say that would bring that um, um, down. Like I said, all the cash ratio remains like that, the liquidity ratio remains like that, because if they have to tickle with that, either to, to reduce it, and uh, they, they would have caused inflation. They are, what the CBN is guiding against is just to make sure that inflation doesn't go high any longer. And they know that um, towards the, 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 we are going into the month of July, we expect the inflation figures to be a little bit higher. So they are just trying to guide against it. So any, any, any tempering of those in, in terms of tightening it will cause a lot of problems to the ordinary Nigeria. In terms of losing it, it will not bring in inflation. So that's why I say they are torn between the devil and the deep blue sea. Well, we'll see what happens in the coming days. Thank you very much, Mr. Mokhtar Mohammed, for your thoughts. Well, it's a pleasure.